Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you what happens if you use two thick copper plates. As you can see the second card or rather said GPU1. It's an Asus Strix. It's not mining. I set it to idle because it's basically overheating and it's doing like zero mega hashes or less, let's say not efficient enough. Um, the funny part is that this card was mining fine over a year and then suddenly just a month ago it started to have to have problems and yeah it got so worse that i had to put it off the work and yeah i mean i can set it again to work just for you to show uh, what happens with this card let's do this real quick yeah, and as you can see after 47 seconds of mining not even a minute it already reached 75 degrees celsius which is not that great at only 202 watts as you can see 78 degrees still climbing i mean the memory temperature is cold though but i mean it's it's normal <clears throat> because the cord doesn't get any cooling and as you can see the card struggles to get around 80 mega hashes and even though it is allowed to pull 300 watts it stays at 212 because the thermal limit kicks in so the card can't pull more to protect itself i mean i knew from the start when i put this card together that the copper plates are a bit too thick but i didn't mind because it was just about 10 degrees higher than my other strix which is down below but as you can see it's it's over nearly 30 degrees now and it's impossible to mine with this card so i have to change it the copper plates that i used on this specific card were 2.0 millimeters now we'll use uh, thinner ones with as you can see 1.8 millimeters yeah and that's the topic for today i will go to my mining barn put this card out of my rig deassemble it uh, exchange the copper blades and then we are good to go Yeah, and this is the raw view of the card. As you can see, um, even though there was enough thermal paste on it, you can see the, that the thermal paste run kind of ran kind of down due to the high gap. You can also tell that that there was a high gap because, as you can see, all this thermal paste shouldn't be there. Um, yeah. Let's redo this card with my 1.8 mm pads and then we should be good to go. Alright, I just installed the card and now we wait till the miner is booting up. As you can see, it took me about 20 minutes for the whole process. Everything and we see booted a few seconds ago. It's actually the coldest card of all my cards, which is uh, kind of nice and impressive. yeah let's see where we end up and uh, <laughs> this is nice 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 yeah and as you can see card is now running fine normal thermal throttling good hash rates good memory temperature everything in the green range um, it's running a bit hotter than my other Strix which is down below GP2 but all in all I would say it's nice and she's working again now I need some tweaking because 315 watts is a bit too much I guess but I will see how it works out in the end. 
and yeah this is basically how it will look like if you have two thick thermal pads or plates uh, and as you also can see there is literally no, no damage done to the card even though it was over a year constant stress on the BGAs of the RAM but nothing happened really as you can see card is mining fine and if you look on the mem you will probably consider this card as an extreme good overclocker and it didn't really change over time so yeah looks about right hope you enjoyed the video guys leave that a comment a like and if you want to subscribe i would really appreciate it and i hope see you in the next one